Hello, I'm Rancho Palos Verde City Manager Arv Moranian with an update from the July 2nd City Council meeting. The Rancho Palos Verde City Council continues to address the ongoing landslide crisis and has again extended the local emergency declaration in the Portuguese Bend landslide complex. The council also approved approximately $3.5 million in financial assistance loans to both the Klondike Canyon and Abalone Cove landslide abatement districts to help fund landslide mitigation projects. The districts represent landowners with property within the landslide complex. Over the past year, the unprecedented land movement has wreaked havoc on homes, trails, Palos Verdes Drive South, residential roads, utilities, and the historic Wayfarers Chapel. The city continues to closely monitor the land movement and work on an expedited timeline to implement emergency measures to slow the land movement and address its impacts. Meanwhile, land movement has contributed to rising costs for the Abalone Cove sewer system. The council approved a 4% annual increase for the fiscal year 2024-25 sewer service charge. The increase will cost Abalone Cove property owners anywhere from $8 to $35 a year. The city pays for approximately 83% of the costs to operate and maintain the sewer system. As a result, the city will this year spend more than $317,000 and the residents will be charged over $65,000. Finally, the City Council approved a code amendment to establish a fee waiver for certain cases where current homeowners seek to fix unpermitted work from a prior owner. Currently, the City collects triple penalty fees for building permits related to violations when work requiring a permit has been started, continued, or finished prior to obtaining a building permit. For more details on all the issues before the Council, watch the meeting on RPV TV or on the City's website at rpvca.gov. Let's stay connected and remember, we are RPV together.